This device works with a 230 volts AC mains power supply. Never use it if you are not aware of what you are doing. Never touch the module if connected with mains power supply. Mishandling of this module is hazardous for life. Use it at your own risk. Hello friends, it is our new product and it is an AC fan regulator and a light dimmer. We have made it by using a tiny 13A microcontroller. We can see this module is very small in size, it is 32 mm by 20 mm. By using this module you will be able to control the AC fan speed or you will be able to use it as a light dimmer. It works with very much precision. You can directly incorporate it in your PCB design. The Eagle footprint of this module is also available. To download the Eagle footprint, you can get the link in the description. It's very easy to use this module. You will be able to control the fan or light dimming just by changing the voltage on the control pin. For using VCC as 3.3 volt then you have to vary the voltage from 0 to 3.3 volt and if you are using 5 volt as VCC you have to vary the control voltage from 0 to 5 volt. Now to control you can give the control voltage by using a potentiometer or by using a microcontroller DAC pin. You can decrease the voltage on the control pin to reduce the fan speed or light intensity. A separate port is also given to connect the potentiometer you can see here. You can control the fan speed or light dimming optionally by using a potentiometer or microcontroller, but both methods will not work simultaneously. A LED is available on the board which glows whenever the value of input control voltage changes and due to that the fan speed or light intensity changes. This module can be considered to consist of two parts. First one is the upper part, as shown in the picture is the DC part and it is the safe side. The other part is the lower side, which is the 230 volt AC main side which is dangerous to touch if the module is connected with the AC supply. Now you can see the back side of the module. All the pin details are written on the module. First you can see the reset is written on the first pin, so you connect it with a microcontroller and you can reset this module by simply pull down this pin. On the front side of the module a reset switch is also available to give it a manual reset. On second pin IO is written and this pin is not in use this time, it is for the future upgradation in the firmware or if you want to use your own firmware for a tiny 13 a then you can use it. The third pin is very important and it is the fan control pin. On this pin you can give a variable voltage to control the fan speed or dimming the light. This same pin is connected with a potentiometer port and pin. So you will be able to use either potentiometer or microcontroller to control the fan speed or light dimming. Now the next two pins are VCC and ground. If you are using a 3.3 volt microcontroller you can connect 3.3 volt or if you are using a 5 volt microcontroller you can connect 5 volt as VCC. This module is compatible and works with both 3.3 and 5 volt. Now, on the bottom side, the first pin is phase, you have to connect the 230 vac mains phase there, the second is neutral and third is fan where you can connect the one pin of the fan or the filament bulb. And the second pin will be connected with a common neutral pin. Now, I would like to give a demo. First, here is the dimming of a filament bulb, for that we are using a DAC pin of ESP32 board. A very simple sketch is written for that purpose. If you want, you can download. The link is available in the description. Here, the second demo, in it the configuration is the same as earlier. We have replaced the filament bulb with the fan. All the connections and the sketch are the same as the previous demo.
Now, I have connected a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer with this module for the third demo. Here, I have connected a 5 volt external power supply to power up this module. Now, I will change the filament bulb blow by rotating the knob. So, let's see how it works. Lastly, I will control the fan speed using the same setup as before. I have replaced the filament bulb with the AC fan and, now, I am controlling the fan speed using the knob. For further inquiries and discussion you may put the comments below. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. If you have not subscribed till now, subscribe now. Press the bell icon for the quick notifications of every new uploaded video. Thanks for watching.